assimilate. No. Oh, perfect. The very model of a credible witness. I'm a little nervous. Well, that's to be expected. The only thing that concerns me is, are you ready? I want Christian and Natalie apart as just as much as you do. Believe me, I'm ready. And you're gonna do exactly as we planned, hmm? Yes. Nora and I, we worked out a plea bargain. Christian should, he should get off with probation and a little community service. Christian, I want to make something very clear to you. Now, you've got to keep your temper in check, all right? Because if that judge sees any fireworks coming from you, she's going to come down on you really hard. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Okay. Everything's cool. As long as I know Natalie's fine. Please take your hand off my wife. Guilty to the assault. Why don't you just give it a rest, huh? Natalie, I do wish you wouldn't flaunt your extramarital relationship in public. You are my wife, in the eyes of God, in the eyes of the law. Relax. Hey, look, he cannot stop me from standing by you during this trial, OK? Well, I hope I can. Didn't I warn the two of you about being seen together in public? Yeah, but Christian's... And that means you're not to be seen together. Okay, I know, but Christian's no, on trial... You were at the break bar together last night when Mitch walked in. If you had listened to me, he wouldn't have seen the two of you together, Christian wouldn't have assaulted him, and we wouldn't be here right now. Look, Nora, it wasn't Natalie's... What part of don't be seen together do you not understand? Do you want to blow the chances for an annulment? No. I'll go sit down. I don't like being the bad guy. I'm sorry. I understand. I'm gonna go sit and do my part. Is Vicky coming? No, I talked to her out of it. I think seeing uh, Lawrence over there do his innocent victim routine is about the last thing she needs right now. What about Antonio? He's still stuck in Philly. Grand jury wants more testimony on a bust that he made last fall. Well, I wish we could have his whole family here, but this should still only take about 20 minutes, right, Hank? If Christian can keep his temper in check, it should be as easy as in and out. That would be great. I might have known you'd be here. Mrs. Vega. Ever since my son fell into your trap, he's had nothing but trouble. Excuse me, my trap? And you've caused it all. Don't blame Natalie, Mrs. Vega. Actually, this is all my fault. Your fault? How could that be? The one that told the commissioner that Christian beat up Mr. Lawrence. And I'm sorry, I'd do anything if I hadn't said that. Of course you shouldn't have said it. Christian would never attack a man twice his age without being provoked. Let me back off on this, OK? Lawrence had it coming. You should have heard the things he was saying about Natalie. Oh, Christian, don't. I knew it! This is all because of Natalie. Don't you see what she's doing to you? You can go to jail because of her. Mommy, por favor. No, she's ruining your life. You don't know what you're talking all right. about. Whoa, 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 OK, everybody, just take a deep breath, please. Carlotta, the district attorney and I have come to an agreement. It involves no jail time. Hang in there, man. Trying. I really am sorry. I should have just lied. I should have just said that you didn't hit Mr. Lawrence first. No, no, Jane, come on. I wouldn't want you to lie. Besides, I did hit him first. I just hope that the judge lets you go. I'd hate to see you in jail. That makes two of us. All rise. Superior Court of Lantano County is now in session. The Honorable Barbara Fitzwater presiding. Please be seated. The Commonwealth versus Christian Vega, assault in the second degree. I have a plea bargain agreement here that states that... Sir? Your Honor, 
I am the victim of the assault. Ah. Mr. Lawrence, are you represented by the Commonwealth in this matter? You may be seated. Well, thank you, Your Honor. Um, Your Honor, I think the plea bargain we've reached with defense counsel is adequate in this case, and we respectfully request that you rule to accept it. Yes, the defense concurs, Your Honor. I want to hear the evidence. Your, Your Honor. I want to know the circumstances surrounding the assault before I rule. But we have an agreement, Your Honor. Not until I sign off on it. And I want to hear the evidence. You may proceed, Mr. Gannon. Now. Yes, Your Honor. What's going on? Let's just say it's not good. The doctor said it was just uh, really by the grace of God that my jaw was not dislocated. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Miss Buchanan, this is an evidentiary hearing. I am allowing plenty of leeway. Please sit down. And Mr. Lawrence, just stick to what you know to be fact. Thank you, Your Honor. As I said, the uh, bruises about my cheekbone, jaw, just really excruciating. Uh, Mr. Lawrence, could you please tell the court what led up to the altercation that night between you and Mr. Vega at the break bar? Actually, it started uh, sometime before that at uh, Mr. Vega's loft, I guess you would call it. Uh, that's when he first threatened to kill me. Now, uh, Commissioner Buchanan was there at the time, but when I appealed to him to uh, ask the court for a restraining order to protect me from this man, he refused. Now, I thought that uh, as the husband of the commissioner's niece, I'd be taken seriously, but apparently not so. But on the night of the assault, were you... Excuse me, Mr. Gannon. Commissioner Buchanan, is this true? Your Honor, I consider uh, Mr. Vega's so-called threat to be nothing more than an idle comment made in anger. And frankly, the dangerous person in this whole case is uh, poor Mr. Lawrence himself sitting over there. I see. And as far as his so-called marriage to my niece, that was all done under false pretenses. This man is a pathological liar. Thank you, Commissioner. I think that I should add that after he had beaten me to where I could hardly stand and barely breathe, Your Honor, Mr. Vega again said that he was going to kill me. It's too bad he didn't. I mean it, Mr. Manning. Another word and you will be a guest of this county. My lips are sealed. Please, continue, Mr. Gannon. Your Honor, the Commonwealth calls Rex Balson to the stand. Well, yeah, I, I tried to stop Christian from wailing on the guy, but Chris was totally out of control. Objection. Objection overruled. Mitch Lawrence is a real creep. But I mean, yeah, I guess Christian probably... I mean, yes, yes, he beat him up. He beat him up pretty bad. No, no, I'm not denying I did it, but you gotta realize Natalie was afraid to go anywhere near the guy because of the way he'd been acting. And Lawrence said things about Natalie that well, that no one would say about a person they love or respect. So he was provoking you? Definitely. And in the end, I had to do what was right. That's just the way I was brought up. And if that means I have to go to jail, then, well, I guess I'm going to have to live with that. One last question, Mr. Vega. Are you sorry you hit Mr. Lawrence? Your Honor, I, I took an oath, and I, I can't say I'm sorry without breaking it. Your Honor, I would like to submit documents to the court, please, that reflect on the record of the so-called victim. That won't be necessary. 
Mr. Lawrence, I know that you are not the saintly victim that you are playing here today. But beating someone severely and threatening to kill them are very, very serious charges. We will take a short recess, after which I will, I will make my ruling. All rise. I know you weren't sorry about him, Liam, but couldn't you just shown a little remorse, Christian? No, no, the guy's a jerk. Christian. No, no, I can't tell him that. If I told him that Christian said I'll kill Mitch as soon as he walks free, he'll come after me next. He has a bad temper. I mean, I gotta tell you, he really scares me sometimes. No, no, I'll be fine. I'm just, I'm just gonna hide out here for a while. I'll be fine. Thanks. Thanks, Judge Fitzwater. That was very easy. And then I'll fix Natalie and Christian for a while. I'm ready with my ruling. The defendant will please rise. Mr. Vega, you realize that by pleading guilty, you are admitting to the charges against you in their entirety? Yes, Your Honor. Your attorney and the district attorney have worked out a plea bargain on your behalf, but I am not bound by their uh, guidelines for sentencing. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. And you still wish to plead guilty? Y yes, Your Honor. So let me know when you're feeling that. Christian better. Vega. Because then I'll show you what real pain is. You are hereby second degree assault. And to make sure you uh, cool off that temper of yours, I am sentencing you to 30 days in jail. What? Right? Mommy, relax. It's going to be okay. No, how could you say that? Come on, it's only 30 days. Oh, in the mail. You're the best. Because Lawrence was supposed to go away empty-handed, but instead Christian Vega's going to the Hoos Gap. Somebody got to Judge Fitzwater, and I want to know who it was. Hold on. I know who it was. 